question two. This is a fairly common question. A group of students arrange themselves into rows of 16 each. That means every row there are 16 students, all right? If they arrange themselves in rows of 11, they could form three more rows with seven students left. How many students were there? Now let me draw out what they are trying to say. So initially, let's uh, do this. There's the first row, there's the second row, so on and so forth. And each row, there are 16 people. All right, 16. And let me copy this down, 16. And you get the idea, the pattern continues until the very last row. How many rows are there? That is what we are trying to find out also. Next, something happened. They decided to rearrange themselves into row of 11. Okay, so out of this 16, okay, let me, out of this 16, now they just want to have 11 so we're gonna partition this out five five people over here so if 11 11 this five people they're gonna leave all right they're gonna leave we're gonna exit they're gonna exit to form the new rows isn't it all right so they're gonna come all these five people in each row they're gonna leave their current rows and form new rows how many they are, they are all going to combine together and form three more rows with seven students that, that can't join anywhere. Alright, so I'm going to use the red color. They're going to form new rows. So let me cut off here. They're going to form the three new rows. Alright, I will just write this as a new first row, the new second row, and the new third row. Over here, they're going to have the same 11 students. All right, so 11 per row, 11, 11, and we're going to have the leftover seven students who have nowhere to go. So all these five, 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 they're going to leave and they're going to form all this. So how many students are there over here? There are 40 students, isn't it? Where do all these 40 students, they, they come from? They have to come from all over here. All right, all the five, 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 they're going to leave and together there are 40 of them. They're going to form orders. All right, three rows of 11 and seven left. So are we able to figure out five, five, five to get to 40? How many rows are there initially? Yes, right? So let me minimize everything here. We're going to start our first step, which is to calculate the number of students that left their initial rows, okay, for example. And we have 11 times 3 plus the 7. Okay, 11 times 3 plus the 7 to get the 40. Again, these 40 students, they are the 5 students that left, okay, to form this 40. From here, we can calculate the number of rows at first, which is 40 divided by 5 to get 8 rows. Why eight again? Every single row at first, five students have to leave. All right, five students have to leave. So, in order to reach 40, five, 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 that means there must be eight rows, isn't it, to form the 40. If there are nine rows, this will be 45. If there are seven rows, there will only be 37 pupils. All right, so it must be eight rows at first. Hence, from there, we can calculate the answer number of students there were well initially one row there are 16 so 8 of it 8 rows so will be 8 times 16 
that will be 80 plus 48, 128 students.